Oh, hello. Um, I welcome you on this segment, Ask Pastor Hubbard. Uh, uh, visit our Facebook and, and, uh, and you like, you comment, and you ask questions. Thank you so much. I do really appreciate it so much. And today, um, why do Christians believe in the soul when uh, neurology, uh, neurology has found clear evidence that sense of identity and personality can be altered by personal changes in the brain? So in other words, he's saying that the soul is the real person. The soul is that person where there is uh, 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 feeling, emotions, and so on and so forth. Yes, I believe so, but we have to know that man is made up of soul, spirit, and body. So spirit is that person, is the spiritual body, is the spiritual you. When you move out, you will find that you are your real self, and you can, you can, you, you, you can see yourself. But the body is also me looking at myself, but actually you are, I can't say I am the hand, I am the leg. No, but I can say my leg, my body, my head. That means it's not me. I am somewhere, there. I own it, but that's not me. Because if I was the head, then I could not say I am my, my head or my hand. Uh, brain plays a vital part because the soul is the is the you whereby where emotions um, 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 emotions sense of uh, uh, sense of self where they where they reside uh, I'm not a scientist whereby I can go ahead and and, 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 and and speak all this but what I really want to see that the real you is somewhere where you cannot describe but at least there is a sense of belonging there is a sense of identity uh, and emotions that is you and that is the soul but me I when I because of the sense of identity that I am me and I love where emotions, feelings reside. So when I want something, me, I will send signals to the brain and the brain will send signals through the muscles to the part designed to help me achieve that. For example, if I want to see the brain, my, my soul, will speak to the brain, the brain will speak to the eyes, and the eyes will tell me, will, will capture, the eyes will capture the message, and then that message will be sent to the brain, and the brain will send the message to me. Uh, in other words, I'll be able to see clearly what the eyes have seen, and then I myself will interpret the message from the screen of the eyes through the brain. So in other words, the eye sees, when they see, they send it to the brain and then the brain displays on its screen that this is what, this is what is there. Then me, I can, I'm able to see and I say, okay, I better run or I like that thing or let me go and get it, whatever it is. If they have discovered and they have found out that identity is found, I mean, self-identity can be altered by the brain. No, this is what I believe. Even somebody who has got a stroke, someone who has become impassive or paralytic, he can't move. Unless you are, even someone in a coma, inside he'll be feeling himself Although he, can, he is detached from his body, whereby he cannot use, his body is like dead. He cannot, resp he cannot use the faculties, but he will be self-sensing. He will be at least understanding that this is me, but I am in trouble. I cannot use my head, I cannot use my hand. I, I, I don't know whether I've asked but I mean, that, that's how I understand. So I will believe what the Bible says, not what the scientist says or the neurologists say. I will believe what the Bible says, that the soul, spirit and the body.